Welcome Aquarius. Hi, welcome. If you're single Aquarius, this is Love, Future Love Tarot for February 2023. I'm Tarot Heifer 11 and this is a 10 card with extra info and bonus on where and how to find love. So let's get some guidance and remember to take what resonates yet leave the rest behind please. Currently, if you are Aquarius, you are still single because you really want to be. In fact, you have gotten more single if that's even possible. Have you not? You're like, how do you get more single on top of single? So what am I trying to do in order to find love? If you are looking for love, you're trying to find someone who is a perfect 10. You are trying to find someone who makes you feel that level 10 vibration. Yeah, you are trying. So we're going to clarify. Stick around till the end. I'm going to clarify every card. This will be interesting to see what we can do here and get this guidance. If this is something you're trying to do in order to meet someone, you've got a lot of ideas on how you could meet someone new, but you're not acting on it yet. This person will come in and remind you of your mother. Somebody, this person will be the essence of love. Um, this person is uh, maybe somebody who's ruled by Venus. This person will come in in February. This person will uh, have that look of love. Uh, this person will fall in love very easily. This person will make you fall in love. If not, for sure, a very loving vibe here. So very, very much about love. And they will be. And so this person, okay, where, where, location, where to find love is in our generosity and giving, um, is in a place where we can give our time nonetheless when we decide to, because somebody is very confused. I'm thinking that's you. So we don't know when, we have no idea at this point when Spirit says, if you're dealing with a uh, Libra, if you're dealing with a woman, if you are dealing with another air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or someone's lighting this up in your birth chart, Spirit says the advice, you know, there is that they are very smart, very wise, but yet very feminine. And femininity does not have to make a move like the masculine does. So... How is that going to work out? Because you're feminine energy too. So this could be you. We're going to clarify and see what goes on about being smart and being soft and being kind because you hear about it all the time. My first impression on the table that you have of this person is that they are a really sad, broken hearted person who carries a lot of baggage. And what we have in common is we are both Willing to walk away if it's all bullshit. Easy going, easy walking, easy talking. We have that in common, you know. Believe it or not, you might not think that you have this in common with this person. But I'm going to show you more and we'll see why. How this might turn out is loss. Feelings of loss. I feel like I lost something here. Alright, so what's really going on for our single Aquarius, this time of year right now, it's Aquarius season. We're in 11th Zodiac House, dealing with friendship, group activity, community, and keeping the hope alive. Right? Just trying to keep the hope alive. But you're like, mm, I don't have somebody who I really have common goals with right now. So I'm not going to try to start anything up, which, you know, so there's a rebellion. But I think the rebellion, you know, is still... And thinking of the future about a friend, about a relationship. So we have a friend that is a potential partner, but we're still single. We value wealth and money. I like my solitude. It's very comfortable where I'm at, so I'm staying single. Am I horny? Do I want to communicate and talk about stuff? Yes. I want to talk about passion. I want to talk about passion. I am passionate and fired up about talking to somebody. So whoever that is. So what are you trying? You're trying. I'm trying. I'm trying to get. Like where's this 10? I feel like a number. 
And then, so, you know, I'm not planning for the future. I'm not even looking around. This is what I'm trying to do to find love. I'm not trying. Okay. I'm healing. I'm the 10, the 10, the 10 of swords in reverse. I am healing my mind and how I think. I am setting myself free by staying free. Wow, that is so Aquarius. Cool, dude. Right on vibe, yeah. So what are you actually doing to meet somebody? I'm not. I got a really good idea about who. I got a really good idea about how, when, and where myself. But I'm not willing to tell. I'm not doing this. Oh, yeah, it's all about it. I want to start. I'm going to light somebody's. I'm going to light a fire under somebody's ass when I do come a call them. So the first time I'm going to holler at you, it ain't going to be about money. Okay? It's not going to be about all of that. I don't want all of that from someone. I want sex, passion, brand new feeling, new ways of communicating. And this is what I'm going to do when I, I want to meet somebody. That's what I want. That's it. Right? Mm-hmm. So this energy coming in, this love, this person is love. Love comes in. We're going to find out where, when, and why. Why is the Empress here, please? So, <clears throat> during this person is rebuilding. This person will come in and help you rebuild your life. It is a codependent relationship, okay? This is not a straight-laced person. No, they have a very wild side, okay? But they long for things. They will always have a longing. This person always longing for love. So whoever here is always longing for love, they walk away a lot and have a lot of new beginnings due to their addictions, due to their dark side, due to the temptations of the devil, right? They will be tempted. They will be tempted. And so where... You know, we're playing games where we accept reality. It's in a place where we give, we give, we give, we give the pieces of the puzzle coming together. But it's a double-edged sword. This place is a place of judgment. And the reason being is because Aquarius is too picky about who their partner should be. So, you're going to stay single. How much more single can I be? I'm confused. Somebody is confused into when. And it's when someone decides this air energy. So, that's probably you. Yep, there's Aquarius. It says, when Aquarius decides because I'm very patient. I'm very loving and I'm very kind. I'm very emotionally balanced. When I have my balanced out emotions, when I when this comes to a balancing act, it's not. You just are very patient. I hope Aquarius will be patient with me. Be very wise. Making, this is, we need to be <clears throat> making wise decisions. Spirit says, when the decision is made to wise up, what we will see. We will see this person who is very feminine, soft, assertive, but kind. She's firm, but she cares, you know, she, she, she's, uh, recovering from a financial loss. She is homeless. She is not homeless. There's issues. There are so many issues wrapped around the home and money with this person that spirit says in this message is for you. So you will see, um, again, paranoia being paranoid. When it comes to communicating love. It's very, very hard for someone 
be it you, be it them, spirit acknowledges that um, somebody is keeping a secret or if you feel like somebody is keeping a secret, keeping their feelings a secret, you are paranoid. Somebody is paranoid because they're not. This Queen of Wands is not keeping any secrets. No. She's let everybody know that she's had hard times. She wouldn't be where she is today if she didn't have hard times. Does this person experience paranoia? Yes, they have before. But now they are reborn, emotionally strong as well. I see the spirit saying that. Page coins through the tarot. See what I'm saying? So, uh, yeah. will this call come in? Yes. Had that call come in in the past? Yes. So our first impression of this person who is a very, uh, you know, heartbreaker, a heartbreaker, heartbroken. The broken heartbreaker. You know what I mean? And you're like, oh shit. Okay, so this person's got a lot of fucking baggage. What do I do? I'm walking. They walking. They didn't like something about you going on, probably. So it didn't work. It doesn't work. First impression is this isn't going to work. First impression is this person doesn't have a solid job or career at the time. And when we see that first impression is this person is very mysterious, but not seeing reality. They're not dealing with reality um, quite, you know, almost like as if they are constantly trying to manifest things you know they're always having to work on something and it's always such a major event but we can't seem to find the real because our first impression is they just aren't realistic and they they aren't willing to work and Aquarius is all about that money but are you so in February we're about experimentation trying to figure things out in for in the future so if we both have in common this five of swords you know willing to walk away if it's not what we want and then we see somebody did somebody does and then somebody else experiences the loss so whoever that is and we're just be like put that up there where you can see them oh my i'm getting a little messy i apologize there in that five of cups experiencing that loss we have in common the ability, so we both feel it. The two of you, I see in this reading, someone here, uh, our lover. What do we have in common is we both love each other, or we just love the idea of love. So what we have in common is we love ourselves a whole lot enough. You know, we love, um, and we are very passionate. We are very feminine. We are very, you know, very sexy. We both are kind of playing it. We're playing it. And we're ending up, again, with this, you're reevaluating what's important to you, especially in money and wealth. Both of you are reevaluating what is important to you, especially in money and wealth. And so in the end, we do experience a loss. Somebody will lose. Whereas I thought you guys were going to reunite. So, Spirit says, when we look back into the past, if we feel regret and loss because we helped somebody out, do not lose any sleep over this because, yeah, you know, I mean, you gave too much. You partied too much yourself. That's what Spirit says, you know. We all did that. We's friends. And we was having a good time, but then it just went too far. And somebody there, you know, how are you going to regret that, though? But you're looking back, you're going to regret that. I don't know. Good luck in your love life. So I'm going to keep reading until the camera runs out. But do hit that like button, please. It's anonymous, and it will really help support my channel. Thank you. So how's this playing out spirit for Aquarius? Just in general, if this has resonated up to this point and you're still here, makes good sense, huh? Uh, I mean, what's going on? It's like things do tend to mess with our minds. And so making someone think that they're losing you isn't going to work if that's what we're trying to do. You see what I'm saying? 
um, by not getting together and partying with someone, you know, by, uh, whatever, because we, but we have a lot of fun. We're having a lot of fun with this as an Aquarius that you're screwing with somebody's head. That's possible, right? Okay, cool. All right. So whatever, whatever, but you know, like if it's messing with your head, I want to help you. And so why is the nine of swords here, please? If we have this conversation coming up about, well, I think this isn't safe. Spirit says through the angels of the tarot, through the page of swords, is that somebody doesn't think that this is a safe environment. They do not feel safe around you. You do not feel safe around them because of money. And Spirit says, but it's not about the money. It wasn't safe to loan them money. No, probably not. So it says, do you really think it was safe to give them money? Do you really think it was safe to give them money? How are you going to look at this? Okay, so if that's the case, something going on about money. Uh-huh, there was this major event. There is this major event where, um, you know, there's no commitment, no contract. We did not write this down. And then it created bad luck. We were proactive. We made it happen. And then we didn't even get laid. Right? So you're like, okay, fuck that. I'm out. I'm out. You lose me, somebody says in this. And that's that Sagittarius energy. So that's very much the player, Taurus, the Sagittarius in that so spirit says what we can do now as we move forward if this is the case starting over again um you know just don't let this ruin your good vibe and i don't think you're going to i think when it comes to money you're going to be the king of coins in reverse now you're absolutely going to be like nope i don't got any and i don't got any to give and when it comes to romance fuck you i'm not going to be your knight in shining armor anymore Okay, and so that will be okay because you're going to be strong and you're going to be able to protect yourself. So you need to be careful there. Okay, and I think that's okay, right? Let me know if I'm right. I don't know. Good luck. I can't wait to see how this changes. So in a positive way, yeah, screw them. That's okay. In order to do that, yeah, just, you know what? Don't loan nobody any money and don't be too charming out the gate because you don't know, you know, like it's okay. So again, being even more single today than you were yesterday and that's okay. So good luck. Have a good time in your single life, guys. Until next time, shalom.